Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Flash in a Pan. Today I'm gonna make some mushroom linguine. It is super easy, super rich in flavor and very, very quick to make. Let's go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Flash in a Pan, the only cooking show where magic happens in a pan and goes straight to your dishes. Hope all of you are well. Today we're going to make mushroom linguine. It's going to be super creamy, very indulgent, and a little bit on the unhealthy side, but that's always, always good for a once a week kind of treat. Let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to get some onions. Just one should be enough for this occasion. Get the sharpest knife you can, and it's business as usual. Remember, I've heard this myth that if you wear goggles, any kind of effect of having tears or anything like that, it's all gonna go. Chop these up really nice. Go through. You wanna get them relatively thin. Just get them diced up real nice. I think I should go on some like Guinness world record for not having my eyes water, honestly. It's quite the talent. Right, next thing we need is a couple of mushrooms. So I'm gonna take four from here in our lovely fruit and veg bowl. Just dice them up how you want to present them. So you might want to go and go ahead and do some stripes. You might want to go ahead and dice them up. I'm just gonna cut them randomly through any order. Nice and rough. And do remember there's gonna be quite a lot of water retention from the mushrooms. So do keep that in mind when you're chopping as well. But the longer you cook, the longer you allow it to heat up, the more water will disappear from it naturally. Next up, some garlic. Just cut the ends off. Nice and choppy. And just like the katsu curry from the other episode, this is a very, very mild um, concoction of food so if you want you can spice it up with some chili flakes I'm personally not gonna do that but... right now we need some garlic crushers to really ma make sure that the flavor of the garlic is spread throughout the dish I'm just gonna put it through one wow look at that fantastic if only everything in life was this easy there we go and number two Brilliant, just with the back of the knife. Just getting all that lovely garlic in. Look at that, phenomenal. Okay, next up, um, we're gonna go to our trusted wok over here. And this time, as I said, because this is quite a creamy dish, because it's quite an indulgent dish, we're gonna use some butter instead of oil. It's not something I normally do, but one should treat oneself once in a time. Let's go. Um, believe it or not, I'm going to use a few spoonfuls, so about two of these should suffice. One, two, cut through just like butter should. And just put it on some low heat and just see it, see it how, how it gradually kind of melts through. And as nature acts, it's kind of melting away really beautifully. Check it. Ah, amazing. I get very excited over the smallest things, don't worry guys. Right, voila. Right, so as that's going, on, going ahead, we just wanna chop, put all of our beautifully chopped ingredients. And do remember, use the back of your knife, guys. You don't wanna blunt your knives. Put that all through, nice and lovely. 
Right, I would love to stir it with my hands. Unfortunately, I have skin, so we're gonna use a ladle to go through with that. Ooh, magnifique, or something like that. Voila. I'm gonna increase the heat a little bit to get things sizzling on. It smells gorgeous. It's only been like two minutes of me cooking and it already smells fantastic. Uh, what you're gonna need is a pinch of salt, so I'm just gonna get some salt. Go through here. Put it in. Beautiful. Now again, I'm gonna use an ingredient I don't normally use because I don't make any cakes, I don't bake, I don't use anything sweet because I am sweet enough as a person. However, today I'm going to use some cream. And what you're gonna need is some normal double cream that you get from any shop. And I just want you to apply half of the whole thing and add pretty generously to that. Fantastic. Next up, use about a quarter of a pint of milk. Oh, wow, guys, if you could, ah, oh, I'm just gonna pour this in, I'm gonna show you straight away, it looks pretty phenomenal. Next up, we need one tablespoon of flour. Just gonna add that through, and then we're just gonna stir. Oh, magnificent. Would you look at that? Right, now I'm gonna add something that uh, people don't normally add to their mushroom linguine, but it's totally up to you. It just gives it some extra flavor for me and some color also. So, I'm just gonna increase the heat on this and get some coriander. I'm gonna take some from the top. There. Back, and we're just gonna give it a nice dice. Cut it through. Um, I'm just gonna take half of this and use it for now, and then later on, just to add some color to the whole thing. Voila. Absolutely brilliant, look at that. Mmm, creamy, creamy stuff. Just gonna let that boil through for a little bit. We just wanna keep that simmering, keep stirring through, make sure it doesn't clot up too quickly, make sure you keep cooking it, make sure you keep stirring. And now I'm just gonna add one quick teaspoon of the black pepper. I'm gonna use a quarter of a tablespoon to get it through. Should be okay. Voila. And again, the cool thing about this is, is you know, you're cooking for some friends, you're cooking for some family, you can really impress them, and it doesn't, it really doesn't take that much time, guys, honestly. I would highly recommend it. Put it through, keep it bubbling. There we go. As you can see, it's something, oh, absolutely phenomenal. Um, if you're a cheese person, I'm not that much of a cheese person, but you can dash in any cheese that you want. Um, people usually go for some Parmesan, um, and uh, either some parmesan or mozzarella later on, if you wish. Now we're just gonna reduce the heat, let that bubble over for a bit. And next up, I'm gonna go to the pasta. Let's go. And now for the pasta. So what we want is just some, any pasta you could possibly buy from a shop. And we need some boiling hot water. We're just gonna add a pinch of salt. Some people add olive oil and they say that it gives it kind of a different kind of texture. I don't really buy that. I think it actually separates the pasta, which you definitely do not want. Right, just gonna add some salt. 
phenomenal. And just chuck your pasta in. Three, two, one. Da, 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 da. Delissimo. Right, I'm just gonna get another ladle. Another spatula. Just put this through. Leave this to cool for a little bit and just keep spinning it for another. I personally like it quite al dente, so in about five minutes should be perfect. All right guys, bring your already boiled pasta over to the rest of the wok. Voila, nice and yellow. And just pour it through like this. And just give it a nice gentle stir. Give it a bit of a shake, give it a bit of a wobble. Make sure you've got everything nice and integrated. Okay. Ah, oh, fan. Right guys, I'm just gonna move the stuff away from here and then bring in the main plate. Here. Ah. And voila. Isn't she a beauty? Amazing. I'm just going to add some coriander for color. Phenomenal. Mushroom linguine, super easy, super delicious. Enjoy. <laughs>